All right, so today we are doing a full tutorial of the Shark Conquest map for MLB The Show 24. Hopefully we get like an extreme conquest map. That's what I really, really would love to see as well because those are always just fun to play. But let's go ahead. We're going to be doing this so you guys can see all the hidden rewards and everything that we do and how we tackle every single conquest map is pretty much the same. Our first goal is to pretty much get any territory that is not a stronghold and try to block the other territories from spreading out too far. So right here, we can go up or we can go down and kind of go around and just kind of block Seattle or block Pittsburgh. In this case, I'm actually gonna go down and I'm going to block Seattle, I believe. But before we do that, we gotta remember, always check your goals. Goal one, you capture one territory, you get a guaranteed headliner player pack. We already opened that, it's just guaranteed actual headliner uh goal number two you got your millionaire pack goal number three there's no like pacific time and goals like capture the mariners on the first turn nothing like that so this should be a very easy conquest map to get through so we have to work on that but let's go ahead we're going to go and block seattle they might even actually try to attack us here so i'm actually going to attack them. oh no they went down they're just getting everything around around them, which is perfectly fine. So now, now they attacked us, but now we're going to go up and we're going to go towards Chicago and kind of block them so they can't come towards us anymore. We'll attack them. You just skip these. You don't have to play these. They're not strongholds. Do not play any games that you don't have to play. And then there we go. So now we got some territories over there. We can actually go ahead and reinforce over here as well. We'll worry about Pittsburgh in a little bit. But we're just going to keep on going up. Now we're going towards the Yankees. And yeah, they'll probably take over some of those territories. But now we like we block them enough to where now we're going to have some free territories here. And now we'll go back up towards uh, Pittsburgh and start going that way. So we can get all of those territories in that direction, which is exactly what we're going to do here. So we'll attack them right there. And that will, okay, we won that one. Now this one, I don't think we'll win, but if we win, it's huge because we can actually move another territory over. And then we could also reinforce that because we're attached to it. So you do have to be attached to it. And now that we have nine fans, we'll go up this time because everything that's down right there, we should easily get anyways. So now we're just going to get all these territories. Maybe we find a hidden pack somewhere around here. Don't find one yet. So now we'll reinforce yet again. Everything seems to be still attached, which is good. So we can get more territories over here or we can start filling in some holes. I think we're gonna start filling in some holes up here just so they can't come down. So we'll go over and get the rest of the territories over on this side. Cause the more territories that you have in Conquest, when you go to reinforce, the more reinforcements you're going to be able to get as we get our first hidden pack, which is just a standard pack right there. See how many packs we actually get at the end of the conquest. That's where I'm most, most curious about. And skip to reinforce. Now we have all this right here. So we can actually count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need 10 territories in order to actually complete that. So we'll go ahead and put 10 there. And we need basically four here. So we'll put four there and we also need one up here. So there might be a something hidden right there. So now we'll go ahead and reinforce or skip to attack. We'll go down over down. I hate the CPU moves. They take so long. Five, four, three, two, one. So we got another hidden pack right there. It wasn't nothing crazy. Might find a hidden pack down here too, just cause it's by itself. And we do another standard pack right there. And one up here, might, yep, hidden reward, 500 stubs, we'll take that. So like, as you guys can see, we have a lot of the map already basically under our control. So now we skip to reinforce, there's four empty slots there. So we'll put five there. And then now we can probably either go attack or try to get some more territories. We actually have these ones right here. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can put eight there. We can put eight right there. And then we can just put the rest up here to be honest for now. Ooh, okay, we can complete a goal. So we got a millionaire pack. So skip to attack. 
and we're going to go ahead and attack right here get these ones don't expect any hidden rewards here because this is like normal pathway not a weird spot so that would just be that and now we'll go ahead and get this one five four three two and one another hidden pack there and now we'll up here we can get that one and then come down and get these territories right now so we're, we're pretty much taking over most of the map already without having to play a game yet which is typically what you want we got to play these eight games regardless so we're going to take up as much of the map as we possibly can and typically you're probably just going to use your god squad for this anyway so it doesn't really matter so now when we go to reinforce this time, our focus is actually going to be to attack somebody. So we're going to go ahead and skip to attack. We reinforce near Seattle. We'll attack the two fans and they would probably attack. They did attack us. So now we can attack over here. Try to just get all the little stuff around us taken care of. And then once we attack them, we'll see what difficulty it's going to be on. It is on veteran, which I'm down to play veteran, no problem. But I do want to show you guys something. Let's say it was on all star. You don't want to play an all star. What do you do? Well, you just skip skip the phase till you get back to reinforce, and then reinforce that territory with more fans, and then that should most likely lower the difficulty. It even lowered the difficulty for us from veteran to rookie. So if you wanted to play this on rookie, we could. But we're going to go ahead and play this on veteran difficulty. I don't, I don't really care for a rookie that much. And T-Mobile Park, that's fine. And always pick your number five starter. You pick your worst starter. That means you'll, you will face their worst starter. Or if you know like their fourth starter is a lefty and you have a bunch of righties in your lineup, you could do that as well. But in this case, I'm just going to pick Paul Skeens right here. And we're going to be, and that's going to be our lineup. All right, I will see you guys after the game. All right, so we have beaten the Seattle Mariners stronghold. Now we're going to go on and face probably either the Pirates or the Cubs. But first, we want to get all the surrounding territories around that stronghold so they can't mess with it. So let's go ahead and do that. Get all these surrounding territories. And then we'll move on to whatever stronghold we want to conquer next. Either probably the Cubs or the Pirates. Let's go ahead and let's see what we're going to do. Um, probably, probably the Pirates. Probably the Pirates. So we'll reinforce right here. And when you reinforce, next step is move. So the fans that we have down here, we can actually move them all the way up here and add them to this territory right here. Just giving us a lot more leg room when it comes to playing or simulating these games right here until we get to the stronghold. And obviously get rid of all the major like big territories that have a lot of fans in them first so you don't have to worry about them attacking you and taking over those territories so try to get rid of those as fast as possible and so the ones i worry about are the ones that every one of them that doesn't have like one fan in and then we can attack we'll play this on veteran difficulty i'll see you guys after the game all right so we have beaten the Pittsburgh pirates and now we'll probably be moving on to the Chicago Cubs. We also got a home run derby pack for ca capturing the Seattle Mariners and the strongholds of the Pirates. So we get a home run derby choice pack there. So maybe we'll get a rare round. That'd be kind of nice. So let's go ahead and finish out the Pirates regular uh, territories. And then we can skip to reinforce. And we're going to go ahead and reinforce over by the Cubs and then take over the Cubs next. So we'll reinforce right there. And as always, we're going to move our fans from where they were to our no new home over here. That way we have more fans to work with. And then we're going to go up and go ahead and attack the Chicago Cubs. But obviously, before we go to attack the Chicago Cubs, we're actually going to go all the way up. So we can get the other territories that have more fans in them. So we don't have to worry about them later on expanding and then kind of making us do more work than we have to. Let's just try to take care of them now. We can't take care of them now. We can just reinforce once again and then take care of them on the next turn. So that makes it pretty easy for us right there. So 36 versus 7. We get that one pretty easily. 
Let's go ahead and go face the Cubs, and I'll see you guys after the game. All right, so now we have beaten the Chicago Cubs. We're ready to move on to our next opponent. Got some parallel XP. We're about 10,000 away from another wheel spin. Next up will probably be the Giants. Almost said 49ers, but nope, this is baseball. This would be the Giants. So let's go ahead and go reinforce somewhere near the Giants, probably just like right here. So let's skip to reinforce. We'll reinforce right here, and then we got to go all the way back around so we can move our fans from the last stronghold over here. And then we can tackle the Giants, and then we can probably finish off the, some of the ones down there as well, maybe. All right, so now we got 62. That will do it. And let's go ahead and attack and move our way down to the Giants. All right, we're going to go ahead and face the Giants. It'll be on veteran difficulty. No other hidden rewards just yet. So I will see you guys after this game. All right, so we have beat the San Francisco Giants, which should only leave us with like a handful of teams left to go. We also complete another goal, so we get a headliners pack. We got a hidden reward. A home run derby pack is under the San Francisco Giants stronghold. So that's one of our bigger hidden rewards so far. So keep that in mind. Huge W right there. But we got another hidden reward. All right, we're going to keep pushing forward, and now we are going to go towards the Miami Marlins is going to be our next target here. It's going to take us a little bit, though, because I am going to get some of the fans around the Marlins stronghold first. As we're losing a lot of fans right there, that was not the greatest simulation, but it is what it is. And there we go. That was a lot better. They're going to attack us, which is actually better. That means we don't even have to attack them. They attacked us. They lost. We lost a few fans. It's okay. But we're going to keep on going around and get the rest of this as much as possible. And then we're probably going to have to reinforce. I'm actually going to go all the way to the end here, considering we're running low on reinforcements anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and then come back for the Marlins or like come back and reinforce and do it that way. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're actually going to go all the way ahead of the Marlins stronghold. And then we're going to make our way backwards. Uh, when we go to attack their actual stronghold i think that's just the way to go and then we're going to put three fans right there we got a hidden reward a draft pack up in that empty slot up there past the marlin so another good hidden reward so now we'll reinforce over here and then we'll move those three fans right here and then we'll go back towards the marlins and attack them this way and then that's how we will tackle the marlins right here and then after this we only have the reds and the padres left so we are on the home stretch oh and the yankees we also have the yankees so we have three more teams after this anyways let's go ahead and handle the marlins here and i'll see you guys after the game so now we're gonna go ahead and make our way towards the yankees and then we'll get through and eventually tackle the rest of the strongholds let's go ahead and we're actually going to go almost all the way down and then we'll probably reinforce and then come back up again just to get these territories out of the way and then that way we can just go straight forward towards the reds once we're done with the yankees all right so now we're going to attack get rid of a majority of these fans and then we're going to make our way back towards the yankees stronghold after they kind of basically tried to attack us we should be able to make our way back towards the Yankees stronghold once they just try to attack us a little bit. Or we can't make our way back and we'll just keep on going forward and then we'll reinforce in a little bit. So now in this situation, they're going to take up all those territories again, but then we're going to make progress on all the rest of these territories. And we're just going to get the stuff that's around the reds for the most part. And we're going to go and get like the stuff that's like on the side with nothing else around it, all like the other regular territories that aren't near the strongholds. That way, like once we get to those, we don't really have to worry about them too much unless they uh, take them over again. But I feel like they won't take go that far. We'll mainly get most of these right here. Try to get most of the red stuff. Try to go up to uh, and connect where we were by the Marlins. That's kind of what we'll try to do if we can. If we can't, we can't, but... I think with 20 fans, we should be able to get up there unless we just have a bad simulation. But most of the fans that we're fighting only have like two or three. 
fans in that territory, so we should be fine. The six fans is probably going to be the toughest test right here. If we get that one, we should be good to get the one up here. And now we're connected once again, so that's good. Definitely want to stay connected. That way, when you reinforce, you're just going to be able to get more fans when everything's connected. So now we're back to this. There's only a few things that we need. We could probably put some fans down there if we wanted to, but honestly, we could probably just stick with what we were doing and put the fans right here. And this time we can attack the Yankees pretty easily because they don't really have a lot of fans uh, besides their stronghold. They don't really have too many fans around it, so they're not going to attack back or steal any of the territories. So it should be a pretty easy battle for us to go ahead and take them on. So we're going to go ahead and play the New York Yankees, and I will see you guys after the game. All right, we've beaten the New York Yankees, so that leaves us with two more teams. We also got another goal completed for completing the New York Yankees, and we also got an all-star game pack from the Yankees stronghold. So let's move it on. Let's get capture the rest of those territories in this area. And then we'll be moving on to the next team. And our next team will be the Reds. Let's go ahead and go beat the Reds, and I'll see you guys after the game. All right, so we beat the Cincinnati Reds, and we have one stronghold remaining. So we're going to go ahead and reinforce most of our fans over here, besides probably like 10 or so because I want to get this single territory down here and then we'll move our fans from here over here and we should be good to go to go for the next stronghold. So let's go ahead and do that and let's go capture the Padre stronghold and finish the shark map. So we didn't get like a lot of packs in this map, but we did get some premium packs. Now shark maps back in the day used to be really loaded with like ball and packs, standard packs, five pack bundles, 10 pack bundles. They seem like they have not done that, however, but they have given us a lot of packs in general, which is still pretty good, but I'd rather have like more packs than like premium packs in my opinion. Cause honestly the, the choice packs, unless they're guaranteed rare, a lot of times you're going to hold a basic out of them anyways, so you rather have better chances of maybe like getting a Trout or Otani out of a standard pack than some of these premium packs. Well, let's go ahead. Let's capture the San Diego Padres and finish this stronghold, and I'll see you guys after the game. All right, so we have beaten the San Diego Padres, and now we are done with Team Infinity. Once, or not Team Infinity, we are done with the Shark Conquest map. We also got an all-star game pack for a goal completed. Once we just capture the last few territories that we need to capture, which is what we're going to do right now. We're just going to attack these guys real quick and we should be done. One more territory and the conquest will be complete. Let's go ahead and get that last territory and get our packs and see what we can pull from our packs here in just a second we get a season two a vault pack for completing it and we get our last hidden reward so let's go ahead and go check out the rest of the packs right there is going to say once we where's the shark map at let's go see it i want to see it i want to see it complete there it is shark map complete let's go ahead and go check out our packs we got nine standard two millionaire packs a headliner pack a guaranteed headliner pack Home Run Derby, All-Star Game, All-Star Game, Home Run Derby, Draft, and Season 2 Vault. So let's go ahead and open up these packs and see what we can get. If we get anything out of the standard packs, I will show you. If we don't, you probably won't see it unless I'm just talking right now. All right, nothing from the two standard packs or the nine standard packs. We get 5,000 stubs from a millionaire pack, and we get a headliner pack. So we also get another headliner pack right here. So now we got pack 23, which is going to give us a gold. So we got a gold. That's not terrible. We got another pack number 23. No diamond there. And we get a guaranteed headliner player. So guaranteed diamond will be one of the newer ones. It's a blue. 
I honestly don't even remember half these headliners. We get Ruiz, not terrible. It is a no sell though, so all we can do is quick sell them. We got a home run derby pack. Can we get something good from this? We get a base around. I don't think these are all 12. Ooh, 12K is not bad, to be honest. I'll take 12K all day. 12,000 stubs. Give that to me easily. We get an all star game pack. Uh, I don't know. This is, is this a base round or the mid round? I think this is the base round as well. We don't have any of these cards, so we're gonna go ahead and take probably Bregman just because he has more clutch. I like the clutch. We'll take Alex Bregman there. We get another All Star Game Pack, and this is the base round from that 7700, 79, and we'll take the one that's 79. We already have these, so this one we will sell because we already have it. We get a draft pack, home run derby pack right here. And we get all base rounds again, 67, so 10K, 11, 11, 8. So Pete Alonso is the most expensive at 11, 800. I mean, honestly, we're getting a good amount of actual cards that go for a decent amount of stuff. So 15, 8, 15, 7, 15, 2. 14, 15, 8, and 15, 1. So I think 15, 8 was the highest. We'll go ahead and take that one. Sell that for 15, 800. And now we got a vault pack. Items cannot be sold, but do we get anything good from them? An 89, an 89. I mean, probably take the quick sell value if we can't sell it. We already have that one. We already have all of them. So. We'll take that one and probably another 89. We can't sell it anyway. So we take the ones that basically quick sell for the most. Go ahead and quick sell that one and go ahead and quick sell that one. And that is the rest of those packs. That is it. We are done with the shark map. Be sure to like, share this video, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on so you guys don't miss out on any videos. Comment down below what you guys got from your packs and if this helped you out completing the shark map, if you needed some assistance or it's something to just watch while you guys are grinding the shark map yourself. And I will see you guys in the next one.